a lot of times people say that they're too old to learn. You know, I talk to people all the time and they say, hey, I just feel like it's too late for me. I'm 24 years old. My classmates are 18, they're 19. I'm just getting started. I'm in an algebra class, you know, what can I do? What can I do to, to get better? And so in this video, I wanna just talk a little bit about what I think about that and what I've discovered over the years about learning and age. So to start, let me just give you an example. I had a conversation once with a professional mathematician many years ago in his office. Uh, he was a complex analysis uh, professor, or that, that was his research, complex analysis. And I'm not sure if he's still alive. And he was very famous, very renowned in his field. And I'll leave his name out of it just for you know privacy concerns. But he told me that you know when he was younger, he could pull you know, eight, nine, 10 hour study sessions, you know, with breaks for food and drink and to go to the bathroom. And in his old age, and he was, I think he was 66 or 67 at the time, in his old age, he can only study for like three to four hours at a time. Now think about that. You know, here's a man who's, you know, 66, 67 years old. He's been, you know, working on mathematics his entire life. And he can still focus for three to four hours. I mean, he can still do that. And compare that to the level of focus that you might have, right? At your age, maybe you're 19, 20, 23, 30, 40, doesn't matter your age, but three to four hours of solid concentration in your 60s, I think is really impressive. And I think that shows that it's never too late to learn. Another example is uh, I knew a lady once, she was actually uh, my biology two teacher and I hated that class. I <laughs> just didn't really like it. And she got her PhD in her 60s in, in biology, right? So it's it's never too late to learn. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, hey, hey, it's too late, it's not too late. W one of the reasons I think that people, you know, they, they think it's too late is because they compare themselves to other people and they say, hey, I am not as good as this person. This person is way ahead of me, so I will never be able to catch up. And I think... I think it's good to compare yourself to people, but it's not good to make that analogy. When you see someone who is more successful than you, who is ahead of you in something, who is doing better than you in any specific field, what you want to do is you want to look at that person and you want to say, hey, I want to be there. I want to get to where they are. But try not to make excuses for yourself. Try not to say, oh, they're ahead of me, so that makes me feel bad. It shouldn't make you feel bad. It should inspire you to work harder to achieve what they've achieved or to surpass them. And I think that's one of the flaws in, in human thinking is that we look at other people or certain people look at other people and they say, oh, they've they've achieved this great level of success. I can't do it because of X, Y, Z. You know, they had these advantages that I didn't have or, or they got an early start. You can't do that because there's certain things you can't change, right? So if you're 30 years old and, and you're going back to college and you're looking at someone who's 18 and they're in college and they're in calculus and, and you're in algebra, there's nothing you can really do about that. You can't, you can't turn back the clock and say, oh, you know, I want to be 18 again and get an early start. You can't do that, right? So you can only focus on the things that you can control because if you can control them, then you can make the decisions you want to make and you can choose to learn whatever it is you want to learn. One thing that you can do is this little simple mental exercise. So let's pretend that you're 25 years old. And if you're 25, then at some point, you know, if all goes well, you're going to be 30. So ask yourself this, do you want to be 30 years old with a degree or without a degree? You know, do you want to be 30 years old with the knowledge of, you know, programming that you don't have now or without the knowledge of programming? I mean, whatever it is you're trying to learn, you can choose to learn it. You really can. You can really learn anything. I believe that. I believe that people have this untapped potential because I've seen it. Right? I've seen it. I've had hundreds of students over the years. People are so much better than they think they are. They have all of this like untapped potential inside themselves and they're just not aware of it for whatever reason. Maybe it's their surroundings. Maybe the people in their lives have just really not been as supportive as they could have been, which is common for all of us, right? No one has a perfect life, right? We all face some type of adversity. Maybe they just don't have the motivation for whatever reason, but you have potential and you can do it. So regardless of your age, you know, don't give up. You can learn. And I'm sure there's some science out there that says that, you know, the older we get, the harder it is to focus and, you know, we slow down, our reflexes slow down. I'm sure it's all backed by science and everyone kind of knows that it's common knowledge that the older you get, 
you know, the slower you get physically, mentally, but you don't completely slow down, right? You can still learn a lot of information. And again, are you going to let it be an excuse to not learn or are you going to get out there and learn? The brain is, is like a muscle, right? Like the more you learn, the easier it becomes to learn new things and the sharper you get. One of the things I discovered about studying mathematics is that it really changes the way you think. I think about my mind when I first started learning, you know, basic algebra to my mind after I went through, you know, my, my first degree as an undergraduate and, you know, got a math degree. What a difference, right? What a difference in the clarity of thought. What a difference in the way I talked. You know, everything changes when you learn. And the same is true for other fields. You know, if you learn things, you're going to get stronger mentally. And what's not to like about that, right? Why wouldn't you want to do that? So don't let, don't let age be an excuse to not learn. And there's something glorious about being older and taking on more difficult challenges. There really is. I'll use this really short story as an example. I was teaching a class once. It was like a business calculus type class. It was called Concepts of Calculus. And so the first day of class, I'm up there and uh, I say, so who here, you know, hasn't had uh, a math class in a long time? And so, you know, a big chunk of the class, you know, raises their hand. It was a night class, so it was mostly older students. You know, they take classes at night because they have jobs in the day, they have kids, whatever, right? So they're there at night. And uh, this guy in the front, his name was Alfred, <laughs> like like the butler from Batman. And he he raised his hand and I said, how long has it been since you've taken a class? And he goes, 30 years. And he had like, you know, a really old sounding voice. And everyone was like, oh, 30 years. And he was, he was like 65 years old. And he did well in the class. You know, he sat in the front of the class, always participated. He did pretty good in the class. And he went on and he got his degree, I think, in construction or something. And, you know, I don't know where he is today. But he kind of served as an inspiration to the rest of the class. Because when people see someone who is older and they are going through something that they're going through and they're a lot younger, they realize that it's never too late. You know, if, if this guy, you know, if Alfred, who's, you know, 65, 66 years old, if he can do it, then you can do it, right? Because with age, you know, we do slow down. Our mind does slow down a little bit. But... Think back to that example I gave at the beginning of the video, right? Three to four hours of solid concentration on, and we're talking research level mathematics here. This is not like opening an algebra book or a calculus book or, or even an analysis book, right? These are research papers uh, this person is reading for three to four hours and they're in their you know, mid to late 60s. That's, that's pretty impressive. I think that shows that you know, age is not an excuse to not learn. What do you think about age and learning? Do you have any interesting stories to share? If you do, leave a comment in the comment section below. People read the comments. And so whenever you can leave, you know, constructive comments or cool stories, people read them. And I really think it helps other people. There used to be this guy, he used to post a lot on the channel here. Uh, his name was Gordon. And his comments were the best because he would always have these stories about, you know, his experiences and when he was learning in college. And I don't know how old he was, but I assume he was older. And uh, it was just really cool. So if you have any comments to share, any stories to share, leave them in the comment section. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, like. Also, I have an Instagram. Let me pump myself here. Make sure to uh, follow me there if you use Instagram and all that stuff. Until next time, good luck. Take care. And remember, it's never too late. Don't give up.